Healing from Within, Listening to Yourself, by me, Sarah Jane. Recently, I had an experience, awareness, that has helped me heal an, an aspect of my younger self. I was walking through some local woodland when I started thinking about the theme of a video share I was doing with Anolia a little later that day. I was thinking about the trauma I experienced as a very young child, both physical and emotional. And was I affected by PTSD? One of the symptoms of PTSD, to my knowledge, is nightmares. So I started thinking about dreams, and the truth is, I don't dream, or at least I never remember my dreams. I started thinking more deeply about this and wondered whether I had managed to switch off dreaming. After all, I was only a year old when all that happened and reliving the scolding and time in hospital with no way of asking for help would only have added to the trauma. Then I started thinking about my wake-up call my jaw was broken by a dentist whilst extracting a wisdom tooth and I didn't know it was broken for a week. That had left me with six months of pain and sleepless nights. And when I did sleep, I had to wake up to turn over. This flow of thought opened up a lot more. I'd never slept well and still don't. So was the waking up every couple of hours or so the way I stopped myself from dreaming? Was I afraid of dreaming without realising it? Wow, for over 60 years. I decided to connect with my 36, 37 year old, me, and ask how I felt at the time of the broken jaw. What feelings had come up for me? The baby me had been in pain around her face and neck. She was put in hospital for three months with a visit from her parents once a week for an hour. All due to circumstances, not a lack of love. That's another story. I was also in pain in my face and head. No one had listened to me when I said something wasn't right. And even after the x-rays showed a broken jaw, there wasn't much in the way of apologies. When I came out of hospital after the operation, my husband warmed me some soup that night and then from the following morning just expected me to be okay. What I didn't realise at the time was that all the old feelings from my early childhood had just come right back up to the fore, awakened by the current situation. I think a wake-up call is a great name for it. Whilst I was walking in the woods, I listened to my younger self. I opened to her feelings and let her know just how much I loved her and was there for her. I have also spent time with her since and know she's feeling so much better. Your younger self isn't just about your inner child. It is us at any age and any experiences that are not fully resolved. I share this experience with you with the hope it will help you along your own healing journey. A brilliant quote I came across recently explains this beautifully. As traumatised children, we always dreamed that someone would come and save us. We never dreamed that it would, in fact, be ourselves as adults. Alice Little